This HVAC unit gives us all kinds of trouble. Sometimes, for whatever reason, it floods internally, and it happens for a variety of reasons. And water gets into the metal roof deck and runs and makes a mess in the cafeteria, and then the bathroom and the music room over there. Um, one of the things that I really hate about it is just the way it's designed with the condensate drains on the uphill side. Um, I don't like water laying on the roof anyway, but this traps water between it and the peak of the roof. And even if it was working right, the water just runs all the way down to the end of the roof, which is just less than ideal. So I put this pipe on to try to route water away from the unit um, so I can investigate the base flashing and it's just better for the roof not to have pond in water there. And of course, when I got here today, the pipe was all disconnected and we have water laying there. Um, on the upside, all this water laying on the edge of the base flashing and not coming into the building indicates to me that it is not leaking, it's not a roof leak at the base flashing. Um, and another interesting feature that I've learned about this unit when it gets weird. So right now, this corner here, there's no water dripping out of it. See, there's, I mean, it's wet because I've been messing with it, but nothing's dripping. If I turn the unit off and give it, I don't know, 20, 30 seconds, it's going to start dripping out of that corner. Now, I've looked inside. I don't see water where it shouldn't be. I don't, I don't know. I can't explain why this happens. I just know that it does. And I know that when it acts like this, then it makes leaks inside the building. So you may not be able to tell, but this little hole is already starting to fill up a little bit. And it's going to start dripping. Any moment now. Any moment now. Nope, you see that drip? There she goes. So, I don't know where that water's coming from. I know that it's coming from above the roof level. I know it's coming from somewhere inside the unit. So that makes me fairly confident that all the stained ceiling tiles downstairs are not from a roof leak. They're from the unit leaking, I don't know. Maybe it was sucking water in. Maybe it's not draining properly, although you can certainly see water coming out of the condensate drains. And then when we turn it back on, most likely the water's going to stop real quick and you're going to hear air sucking in. Hear it? So, I don't know. Makes me even more confident that it's not a roof leak. This is inside the compartment um, nearest to where it's dripping. The corner it's dripping out of, I ain't gonna be able to see. It's dry in here. So, wherever that water is, it's not, it's not in here in the compartment, because there have been problems before where the whole pan here would get wet and there's a drain back in there that's not right. Um, but it's surprisingly dry over here. Condensate pans are catching condensate like they should. They don't appear to be leaking. Um, and again, we can see condensate coming out of the drains like it's supposed to, so I don't think that's the problem. It's just got water. It's holding water somewhere where it shouldn't. You can hear air coming in around this door. I can't, I can't make it change but you can hear a lot of air getting sucked in it whistles a little bit and I mean if it's pulling that much air in because the roof of the unit is sloped this way all the rainwater is going to run down dribbling in here if it's pulling in a lot of air there it's going to be potentially sucking in water too could it be that the filters are dirty and clogged and not flowing enough so it's trying to suck in air through all the seams or somewhere else I don't know because the fan is on the other side of the filters and that's the other side is where the corner of the drips is located 
This uh, fallen weather stripping might not be good for waterproofing or water tightness. What's not good for me is that wasp nest right in the corner. So we're going to close this up and go away. Most of the units are like that, where the condensate drains come out on the wrong side, and really there should be a cricket built into the roof in the middle, pushing water to either side of it anyway, um, just for drainage. I mean, it's a, it's a trap. It's going to trap water there, even if it's not coming out of the unit. Maybe, I don't know, maybe there's a little bit of something in there. It almost looks like a faint outline of a cricket, but it's clearly not doing a very effective job. Um, I would want to see something a lot more pronounced. Again, regardless of of the condensate, but just water itself. This one is kind of extra bad because it keeps water up against this expansion joint, which is, you know, not supposed to be wet 24-7. I mean, the roof's supposed to get a chance to dry out, but not over the summer.